People often ask me, John, how did you get to the Juilliard School? So as a former student from there, I thought I'd make this video to help out whoever would like to follow that path. is one of the leading music schools in the world, also featuring divisions in dance and drama. And on top of the academic prestige, it's located in New York City and frequently appears uh, on the media, giving it a special glow and making it all the more uh, desirable to get into. So back to the point, how did I get there? Well, step number one, of course, is the application. What it is essential is that you play very well and impress the juries. There are no written exams, you shouldn't worry about that, unless, of course, you're a doctor, an applicant, that may vary. But, and of course, always check the website for updated information. So now let's talk paperwork. You should, of course, the initial step is to fill out their uh, application form online, pay the fees, and you should, should submit letters of recommendation, uh, anything else that the website requires. Plus, if English is not your primary language at your home country, you should always take an internationally recognized English exam. In my time, it was the TOEFL. I believe it still is. So now an inside tip for you. Uh, in preparing for the audition, try to schedule lessons or to play for former students from Juilliard and even uh, teachers from Juilliard. Uh, some of them do accept private students, so you may play for them to check if you're on the right track for a successful audition. That was actually my strategy. I work with former students from there and it worked. Now a little bit about the hands-on preparation, the, the actual practice. So I did a lot of concerts, I played for friends and family, did competitions, and extremely important also is to, for you to constantly record yourself to have the exact idea of what you are projecting to the juries. Also, months before the audition, I didn't take any lessons because I didn't want to fall into that learning curve and I just wanted to project whatever I was digesting for so many months and even years. Also, another strategy I took to give, me, give myself that confidence boost was I, I lied to myself. I thought, well, if Julia doesn't want me, doesn't approve me, too bad for them. And of course, that, was, that is a lie. I was lying to myself. But that did help out in building uh, confidence to my audition. So a little bit of what happened in the day of the audition. I was waiting for the teacher in the hallway, uh, Sharon Isbin. She can be a very intimidating uh, figure. She's one of the best classical guitarists of today. She played in uh, major halls uh, with great orchestras. Uh, many important composers dedicated uh, pieces to her. So I was quite nervous, but controlled. You know, I was confident in the work I put in. So I was nervous, but I, I controlled um, the stress. Once we were in the room and the audition started, she let me pick the first piece and I played the uh, Variations Opus 9 by Soar without any major problems and after it was over she shouted a bravo and I was very very relieved because I was nervous and then for the second piece uh, she picked out of my repertoire it was the Fugue BWV uh, 1003 I also played okay uh, she liked it and then she also asked for the third movement of Barrios La Catedral, which I played about uh, halfway through until she said it was enough. And then it came the big surprise. 
she asked me what I was going to do in the summer. And when I said nothing, <laughs> she said, well, would you like to be my uh, assistant in the Aspen Music Festival, which is the major uh, music festival in the United States? And I was stunned. I, I, I was shocked because she barely knew me. I was playing for, you know, only 20 minutes. And she invited me to go there and be her assistant with a scholarship. And uh, the big surprise, even bigger than that, was to know that I thought to myself, well, probably I got into Juilliard. If she's offering me all those things, I'm probably in. So indeed, a few months later, I received a call from the Juilliard School saying that I was finally officially approved. And I was very happy. I celebrated with family and friends. And it was a big moment in my life, of course. Now, scholarships. People often ask me, but João, uh, isn't it, it does, isn't the tuition the price of uh, an apartment in Brazil? Yes, sure. It's, it's very, very expensive. But keep in mind that there is a lot of financial aid. It's the United States, it's New York, there's plenty of resources around. So when you're applying, make sure you also fill out the financial aid form and chances are that you're gonna get a, a good amount of scholarship. I, for one, uh, my family ended up paying a, a small fraction of the whole tuition which was affordable for us. So after all this work, all these years, I'm a graduate since uh, 2010, 13 years, uh, well, uh, 13 years since I got in, in 2007, uh, 10 years after graduation. Yes, it's worthy. I grew a lot as a professional, as a musician, as an artist, as a person, made friends all over the world. It's a fantastic school that even after you leave, they continue supporting you. You do gigs through the school. And of course, Juilliard is a big name and it impresses not only musicians that know what you're talking about, but also non-musicians, people who have never played an instrument, know where Juilliard is and know all about Juilliard's reputation. And of course, what really matters, the learning, it was amazing, continues to be because it still resonates in my playing. It had a profound impact on my artistry and I'm very thankful for Juilliard uh, for that. And also, uh, because it's such a big name, I got great infiltration, especially in my home country of Brazil. I got great infiltration into arts organizations and schools and um, diplomatic uh, organizations. I played in many, many places all over the world in great halls, uh, went off to win competitions, grants, fellowships. And uh, a lot of it, uh, of course I worked hard, I practiced hard, but a lot of it also is due to a degree from the Juilliard School, a Master of Music degree from there. So if you're considering applying for Juilliard, go ahead. You have my support. Give your time and energy because it's very, very worth it. You're going to have fun. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to go through tough times too. The teachers are, are very demanding, but you, you grow a lot in uh, all aspects of your life. So I hope that helped. If you liked the video, of course, like it, uh, subscribe to the channel, place a comment, a question, uh, share it. Uh, for me, it's always a pleasure to share a little bit of my uh, knowledge and experience with all of you. And if you're indeed applying, good luck. I hope you make it. Thank you. Bye-bye.